This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomberito Automotive Group. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for choosing News 4. I'm Claire Kellett. Here are some of the stories making headlines. The fight over a mask mandate in St. Louis County is delayed. A St. Louis County judge has delayed any reaction on a request from Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt. Schmidt accuses county officials of not turning over information on how the latest mask mandate decision was made. Dr. Page announced the mandate September 27th. The next hearing is scheduled for November 10th. We are tracking new developments with the coronavirus vaccine, and we are learning the FDA will soon allow you to mix and match vaccines. The agency said it is planning to allow Americans to receive a different COVID vaccine as a booster than the one they initially received. So this means if you say originally got the Moderna vaccine, you could instead receive Pfizer as a booster. The FDA is also expected to authorize Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccine boosters later this week. Right now, Pfizer is the only COVID vaccine authorized for booster shots. The Missouri State Board of Education is meeting today following a data breach involving teachers. Most recently, an employee's email account was accessed, accessed rather by an unauthorized individual, but the email was disabled before the hacker could gain access to pension information. Well, that came days after the St. Louis Post-Dispatch noticed that social security numbers were vulnerable and informed the state of the flaws. Right now, it is not clear if anyone's information was stolen. We do know officials with the pension fund say they are reviewing safety protocols. For a quick check of your forecast, we send things now to meteorologist Kent Derhart. Nice day out there. Temperatures similar to what we had yesterday, mid-70s. We had some clouds rolling in the morning. A lot of that should break out uh, as we get into the afternoon and uh, some sunshine. Breezy and warm. South winds, maybe 8 to 12 miles per hour. Now, we do get some rain chances uh, after today. So you can see the back edge of the cloudiness at 1 o'clock in the afternoon today, kind of clearing out of the area. We'll see a few clouds overnight. Then things really build up during the day tomorrow. By the time we get to 4 o'clock, we begin to see a chance of a few showers rolling in here, but they really kind of bubble up after that. So there's 7 o'clock in the evening tomorrow, 10 o'clock tomorrow evening, and then off to the east. And with that, there is a low risk that some of those storms could become severe. Now, the timing is looking uh, not in really in favor of this, but because of that, we're keeping that a weather alert day tomorrow. So 30% uh, chance of, of a shower or thunderstorm, especially late in the day tomorrow, high of 76. Breezy and cooler on Thursday, the high about 65 degrees under considerable cloudiness, especially later in the day. Partly cloudy and 65 on Friday. In fact, we stay in the 60s through the weekend. Should stay dry on Saturday for the Alzheimer's run on Saturday morning at Enterprise Center. But then some rain Saturday night into Sunday, a chance of rain and storms. And a little warmer the first part of next week. Thank you, Kent. And that is your News 4 update. Remember, we are always online at KMOV.com and your KMOV News app.